In Chicago, there are over 50,000 youth between the ages of 16 and 24 years old who are out of work and school. The unemployment rate in Auburn Gresham is 183% higher than the national average. African Americans between the ages of 20 and 24 make up majority of that population. Thrive Chicago calls them opportunity youth. Of 100 freshmen who start at a CPS high school, about 14 will graduate from a four-year college by their mid-20s. White CPS students were 13 times more likely to attend one of the district's five most prestigious and selective high schools. Jones, Lane Tech, Northside, Peyton, and Young. By diversifying the schools with high graduation rates, you will see more youth of color being more successful after high school. Reducing the youth's unemployment rates and increasing their graduation rates is imperative for the city of Chicago's economic success. Nationwide, suicides among black children under 18 are up 71% in the past decade. The lack of mental health facilities in black communities contribute heavily to these statistics. For instance, Cook County Jail has become the largest mental health provider in Illinois, giving the community the choice of going to jail to get help or to keep battling their illness themselves and seek healing through drugs, alcohol, and violence, which will still ultimately lead them to jail. Illinois prisons held 16,183 more people than they were meant to hold, a higher rate of overcrowding than any other prison in the U.S. Our goal is to bring a light to the opportunities that the Auburn Gresham community provides for the youth, while also bringing attention to the need for more resources within this community. I remember a time when I couldn't see the light in situations. I always like overthought and I just had problems. My parents made it seem like depression wasn't an important thing. My doctors told me that I wouldn't be able to walk again. The doctors asked my mom, how could this be something she might have? Losing my brother was the hardest thing that I've ever experienced and am still experiencing. I went through a lot of hardships in my life. Whether it be from me having to have an oxygen tank in kindergarten or me missing 195 days of high school. It's just always been something that has been there and something that I've had to battle or something that I've always just considered a disadvantage for me just because I've always had to work so much more harder than my peers. Going into adulthood, I have become more comfortable with who I am and um, the illness that I have and, you know, just trying to discover ways that I can use it to empower others. In second grade, I was diagnosed with a condition that required me to have multiple knee surgeries. And from second through eighth grade, I was in and out of the hospital uh, with multiple uh, procedures on my, on my knees. I'm an independent person, so the idea of having to become dependent, having to rely on people to, to get places or having to rely on my dad to push me around. I didn't like that idea or the thought of that, so I always wanted a way out in a way. So my mom decided to talk to one of her friends that was a therapist, and my mom said maybe you should get her evaluated. And you know, as a mother, that's something you don't want to have to like do or whatever. So she did, of course she did it, and shortly after that I had to start taking medication. And I just remember how it, I, yucky I just felt. I felt super yucky, super drained. All I would do was go to school and eat and go to sleep. That was literally all I would do. Pretty much the first week of school, I was bullied by like a group of girls and like their friends. And I had several classes with them, so I was targeted a lot and it got to the point where I started missing school a little. And my parents didn't really notice anything different in me other than like I was in my room more and I, I was always sick because I wanted to stay home. I always thought a lot and when left without answers, I jumped to the most negative conclusions. I always found problems in my life. I didn't really communicate um, my anxiety issues with others because I felt like it didn't play a big part of my life 
or it wouldn't impact me. And I just felt that it wouldn't matter to other people. My depression started when my younger brother passed away. And it's actually been over five years now since he passed. He was a person who couldn't really move or do anything because he was born disabled. So what I did was always trying to take care of him, try my best to take care of him. But when he passed, I felt like I didn't do much for him. And I felt like that I could have done more. It was mainly because I was grieving from loss, from losing my friends to suicide. And I didn't really find a way to cope with it. I thought if I just held it in and forgot about it, I wouldn't really feel it anymore. I was a freshman in college in New York City, and he was only 16 when the tumor was first discovered. By the end of my sophomore year, my brother had undergone countless brain surgeries, chemotherapy, and radiation treatments. All that could be done had been done, and he was released home for hospice care. I left school early this year to be home with him for the time that he had left. And when the time came to return to school, I wasn't sure if I could do it. Being away from my family for months at a time in New York City while they were all still here in Chicago seemed impossible. Through the help of my teammates, coaches, and even managers, friends, family, uh, I was able to overcome those obstacles and get out of my own head. And, um, and I was able to play to my fullest potential. Giving like my problems to God and Praying about it helped me overcome my anxiety. It's a common thing to not believe in depression because that's for white people. And it's, I feel that we should be talking more about it. And I hope that one day parents can see through the lens of their child what they go through. We all experience hardships in life and we can't go through them alone. We need support, we need each other, we need community.